eradicate those negativities through Surah Al-Qadr. And inshallah, these are things that are beneficial and applicable to us. Hadith al-Sharif on authority of Imam Abi Ja'far, yani Imam al-Baqir, salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi. Allahumma shuli ala Muhammad Allah ala Muhammad wa ajjil faraja. He says, man kara'aha, hadith is on reciting Surah Al-Qadr. Man kara'aha ala babi makhzan, sallamahu Allah ta'ala, من كل آفة وسوء إلى أن يخرج صاحبه ما فيه. Whoever recites Surah Al-Qadr when he goes to work on his assets, يعني مخزن is generally known to be like a warehouse. What is understood from warehouse, all your stock, all your assets, all your goods that you have in the shop. Sometimes we're scared of theft. This, you know, you take the precautions that you have to in terms of the guard and the askari and the alarms and whatever. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I also give you this ghaybi thing in addition, more powerful than everything. On your wealth, recite Surah Al-Qadr. And Allah Azza wa Jal shall protect your assets and your goods and your stock in your shops and whatever it is. Until you have finally sold it for a profit. See, this is a tradition that we need to uphold. Our fathers, our grandfathers, when they used to enter into work, when they used to enter into the business, the first thing they would do is they recite Quran or they recite Surah Al-Qadr. These are practices that we have to send down and share with the coming generation. Lest we become arrogant people and feel that we are in no need of a God and get hit by those factors that are not even in our control. In any case, he goes on to say, وَمَنْ كَرَأَحَا أَلَا مَا يُدَخَّرْ ذَحَبًا أَوْ فِذَّةٍ أَوْ أُثَاثٍ بَارَكَ اللَّهَ فِيهِ مِنْ جَمِيءِ مَا يَذُرُّهِ Even if this Surah Al-Qadr is recited on the belongings that we have in the house, New utensils that are bought, you move into a new house, a new car, everything that is there. Imam al-Baqir says, recite Surah Al-Qadr on this, and it will shall be protected from every type of evil. Sometimes I live in a community which is based on hasad. Enter Janabak, you drive one new model of a car, and everybody's eyes are on you. You know how things are. Maybe I live in a different world, inshallah. You guys live in a different world. <laughs> but we see this a lot. And the hasad is a reality. Negative energy that is emanated. This is a reality. Obviously, there is a line between superstition and reality. The reality it affects us. Surah Al Qadr is that taweed. But then you need la maulana wa la taweed wa la fake people making money from this. Abadan la. Imam al Baqir says, Surah Al Qadr and it protects you. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.